But first tonight, Tammy Mutasi is live for us with the big decisions district has to make overnight and in the morning. Tammy. Mike and Shreed, the decision is tough, but it's made with a lot of thought and safety in mind. And that's actually after school leaders have driven the roads and the highways themselves. <laughs> Whatever Mother Nature whips up Wednesday morning, Michael Kelly and his daughter wish they don't have to drive through it. I'd like a snow day because I have to take them to school and so I can get up a little later. I wish they had off work days. Kelly says his daughter at Ursuline Academy and his sons at Lakota East have not used any snow days yet. It has to be challenging. I mean, because if you go by the weather report, it's sometimes wrong. But when you're the one making the call to have or not have snow days. We always love it when Mother Nature just cooperates and douses us with feet of snow at midnight. That's always perfect and easiest. The decision is not easy, especially when the snow is slated to fall at an inconvenient time. In Mason, they're 0 and 4 for snow days compared to last year. The superintendent will get up at 4 a.m. to scope out roads and sidewalks. Sometimes things change with the weather and then she'll actually go out and if it has started snowing, um, she'll go out and actually drive the roads as well. Whatever the schools decide. I'm glad I don't have the decision. It's just a good break and I think everybody would enjoy it. <laughs> Road crews have already started throwing down the treatment. But we'll be there ahead of the game. Now check out our website, WLWT.com, for the latest on school closures and road conditions. Reporting live in Norwood, Tammy Matassa, WLWT News 5.